I looked at the forecast for, or my husband did actually, for Orlando versus St. Louis. Disney World is going to be cooler than St. Louis people. Yeah. <laughs> if you need to cool That's off, crazy. go to Disney World. Go what? south. Go yes. South. It's absolutely mm. crazy. Um, joining us in studio, uh, we're carrying him over here, Gabe Pfeiffer, a friend of Tony Colombo, but also uh, somebody who has a YouTube channel, St. John the Philosopher, is that right? Mm-hmm. I want to make sure I said it right. Yep. And um, just really interested in politics. He's a black conservative. He's a, a Christian, and he likes to talk about this stuff. And I think it's important to have these conversations um, and, and make sure that you engage in in them and, and potentially disagree, but still not hate each other after you disagree yes, so please. that you can continue to <laughs> so you can continue to have a conversation again. And as promised, right. Damon, I, are you ordering food at a fast food restaurant or something, Damon? What are you doing? Are you there? Damon, don't let me down. Damon. Talk, talking to somebody. Talk. Yes, sir. We're going to open up the phone line for questions. And I want everybody to remember. He, it's not about attacking our brother. Is he talking to me? I think he's at a rally. A rally of some sort. I'm really sad. Damon, you're going to need. I don't know if you're talking to me, but I can't understand you. But you're no, going to need to come back in. That wasn't him talking. Yeah. yeah. That was that was whatever he was listening to. It sounded like a bullhorn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe maybe we're on at a at a, a at a protest somewhere. Protest somewhere. There's always a protest somewhere. I like yeah. how you just looked out the windows here, like maybe <laughs> so, it's well, right outside. There's been three protests in the last five days on that street right there. So yeah, well that's that's what to do, right? What do you think, Abe, about um, when the topic of abortion, which is the 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 topic of the video that you have coming out this afternoon on your on your uh, YouTube channel? What do you think about abortion? A lot of times it's tied with the uh, black community. Like, yeah. wh- how do how do you reconcile those two? And, and when you talk about it, because it's well, kind of a heavy. Well, uh, when when I when I think of uh, the abortion and black community uh, uh, thing, I think of Margaret Sanger, yeah. and uh, that's that's not a happy thought because um, you know she was a eugenicist. She believed in the elimination of the mongrel race, races and the uh, the weed people, as she called called us. Um, that's in there too. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, so the fact that they are you know Planned Parenthoods are highly concentrated in minority areas, and that. Um, uh, often this kind of thing is pushed that that uh, I can't remember what the percentage is, but it's a ridiculously high percentage of all abortions are in the black community. Yeah, it's it saddens me because it's it's a it's a form of uh, genocide that we brought upon ourselves. And it's it's really horrible. If you if you actually look at all of the the um, the number of black babies who have been killed in a, in abortion, it's it's like the population of a small city. Yeah, like that's how many more black people would be in the states. That's and and hey, all of you uh, 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 black people out there who who say that we should have more political power, that would be that many more votes. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, <laughs> I so what what. What's the explanation for that? I mean, how how is it that that um, you know? And and I'm a big proponent of you're not you're not here speaking for black people, right? And I, don't I speak don't, for every all I, of them. Yeah, and I don't get to speak for women. <laughs> right. And right. and Tony's not here speaking for fat Italians. Fat Italians. <laughs> His words, not mine. I mean, we we don't get to speak for a demographic. We right. really don't. But. For some reason, you see that. And and for another reason, there's a lot of politicians. There are a lot of white politicians Mm -hmm. who want to make sure that that minority and low income communities understand how valuable Planned Parenthood is to them. Yeah, it's it's really weird. And I I can't I can't put my finger on exactly why people would would uh, uh, push that mm-hmm. in, in any community, why why it's so important. And I don't understand why it's so important as a plank of the Democratic Party's platform. That doesn't make any, any sense to me. Right. Um, why it's a sacrosanct thing. I mean, it's, it, it, they, they treat it as though it's, it's like a, a sacrament in a, in a, in a, yes. a, in a religion. And yes. it's the weirdest thing I've ever heard. And, you know. Gabe was yeah. at the Burgess, Owen, Burgess Owens event yes. that we had at View 17. And that was great. You Weekend, guys missed out. <laughs> yeah. We could report at the Tim Jones show brought Burgess Owens to town a few months ago. Uh, Burgess has a big, uh, if you ever watch Burgess on any of the cable news networks that he's been on or you, you've read his book, he has a, a, a very well-defined and well-explained belief that the Democratic Party has corrupted the black community. Yes. And has been the driving force 
to destroy it. Destroy it. Mm -hmm. While telling everybody they're the saviors Mm -hmm. and the only people on their side. I know it's his I know it's his philosophy but yeah. I know that you believe that as well. Could you just yeah. because we get these Basically, we get these yeah. tweets that say, you know, you got you have these you you find these uh, black conservatives in the <laughs> woodwork and there's it's less than 1% of all black people and he's you know, they don't speak for any large group of us. I know that it's... And they speak for themselves. Right. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> Which that's is... Great, which, like you the just, point. Like yeah, you just exactly. said. That's nobody speaks the point. For it. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. uh, uh, talk about how, just it, from the 30,000 f- foot view, how the Democratic Party is actually damaging yes. the black community, not helping it. Well, uh, and, and really this is... I, I hate to jump on anything that sounds like a conspiracy theory. And and I don't I don't think this it's like necessarily a top-down thing, but... I don't see the difference between the pre uh, or, or the the antebellum Democrat Party and the current Democrat Party in terms of their effect on the black community. I still think there is a there's uh, some underlying desire for control. Um, now, maybe in the in the old days, it was more of a. Um, a, a more mean-spirited, uh, racially charged um, superiority issue, but now it's simply a paternalistic superiority issue. Like, I want to take care of you. You mm-hmm. poor little... You know, it's very head patty yeah. yeah. these days. You can't do this for yourself. Yeah, it's like... You the, can't the, go get a job, worry. so we need to I'll, give you money. I'll take care of you. Yeah. You just... you All you, all you have to do yeah. is vote this us. work. Yeah. You know, get get out on the streets, uh, pass out pamphlets, right. register people to vote, get, get you know, and yeah. that's the work we yeah. do. We know we'll, <laughs> we know you're never going to be smart enough to support yourself, so we'll yeah. give you money. Yeah, o- only the only the exceptional Negroes get to be uh, at <laughs> right. the top, right. uh, you know, like a Barack Obama and things like that. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, so there you go. Well, let's take some phone calls here. John, thanks for calling the show. Oh, that was quick. I'm a liberal in almost every... Um, social category, mm-hmm. but however, I'm about as right wing as you can get with abortion. I wish more liberals would be this way because I agree totally with what you guys have been saying about abortion. We, we, us liberals, are always, uh, you know, a taunting or whatever the word, we're, we're, we're putting ourselves on a pedestal. How much we support rights, but like you said, that that beating heart—that's a, that's a human being from conception, no matter what anybody says, and. Uh, and I'm even against it in rape and incest, as awful as it is for a woman to be raped or, uh, or attacked by a family member. I think we need to support that baby first. I only agree with it in um, cases of uh, where the woman might die or be severely uh, damaged physically some kind of way by t- t- carrying a pregnancy through. That's the only exception, because I put the woman and the baby as equals, uh, human beings. But now mm-hmm. I want to support... So you guys have heard all that, so I'm on your side. But on Obama, I want to point out four categories where he's done better than Trump. And, and, and Hannity lied last night about the labor force participation rate, which is 62.9, the same as the exact same as when Trump took office 17 months ago, and what the same as what Obama left him with. But besides that, let me, let me go on these just four quick categories. Obama has created in his last 17 months like almost 400,000 more jobs than Trump did in Trump's first 17 months. Okay, that's one category. And on wages, Trump said that wages haven't went up for 18 years until he got in. That's totally wrong. He also said it's been many years, and that was wrong. In 2014, 15, and 16, wages went up a paltry, but they went up. They went up $21 in that time period. It's about $7 per week per year. And then Trump got in. And they went down in 2017, $1 per week for wages. Okay, and then there's two more categories real quick. Uh, I said jobs. Obama also leads in labor force participation rate monthly average for his whole term. Oh, was, no, uh, that is, oh, no, no, that's no, right. No, that's, that's right. No, no, that's right. I, I just, Fight! Hey, look, I, I, just, I just made a video <laughs> about, right. about the Trump thing, and I have a chart in there. I want, I want you to go check it out. It's St. John the Philosopher on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. um, it's it's the... Hold on, John. John, 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 John. Go John. Just go a ahead. second. Yeah, I'm, I'm just telling you that, that there, is, there is a chart that in, in my video, on, uh, it, it's, it's called In Defense of, of, of Donald Trump and President Trump, and uh, you, can, you can check it out. It shows the, the gigantic slide during the Obama years downwards. Yes, I'm um, agreeing with the slide. I just said the average was higher than Trump. 
It slid way down to 62.9 when it was done. It started at 67 or something like that. I don't know if I'd You're be right. bragging well, on but, that. But why, but, I just said his average is higher than but Trump's why is that? why is that relevant? What? Why yeah, Why I, is the average relevant if the trend line is going down? I also said he left them with the same, 62.9. I said that at the beginning. He left them with the 62.9, and Trump is still a 62.9. Hey, John, let okay. me ask, okay, but, let okay, me ask you a question, John. Well, here, I, I evaluated it in the, like, you know, I, I helped you evaluate it to see actually what the real information you got to draw from those. Is. This so, is what you said it was. You're right. I said his average, though, is much higher. That's all from all the... For the people that were with him all the time, anybody that lived here for eight years, that's what it affects you every uh, month. John, do you think okay. the economy under President Trump is bad? No, it's good. Do you think the economy and, under President Obama is bad? No, it's good. It was good. So, and are then, so you think both presidents did a good job? Yeah, I'm almost. Yes, I'm done with one last thing. Yes, and here's the last thing about it: is uh, tr- uh, Obama lowered this. Now listen to this on the unemployment rate. He lowered it from ten percent. To four point eight, a five point two percent drop. During during years. during a slide of labor participation, a change in the unemployment rate is meaningless. I let him go. Oh, I gotta man. get. To, I gotta I, get. I, I gotta yeah, get. To, yeah, we gotta sorry. keep moving on. Sorry. Yeah. We're gonna take. Check, a, check out my video. Yeah. <laughs> go to the St. John the Philosopher YouTube channel, and you can see more Gabe Pfeiffer's videos there. We got one segment left this hour. Are you staying? Done. Thumbs up.